Ladies and gentlemen, KK Miyar, welcome to the daily update. Hope you guys had a good day trading today. Market is up about 1.2%. There on the SMI at 0.3%, semiconductor 0.7%, Dow 1, Russell 2000, Transport Banks, Energy, Biotech, Healthcare, Home Builders, Utilities, Retail, Emerging Market, every single sectors are green today. Bitcoin up, gold, silver, miners are down, dollar up, oil flat, treasure bond down. Uh, VIX is down a little bit. Let's stick with the SP 500 ETF. Spider! 65 minute chart. so this is what we closed on friday it looks like we actually saw slight gap up here on that first hour as you can see again this is what we closed on friday we opened here so when the gap uh was closed on that first hour it did act as a support uh bulls pushed it up here and they were able to get above this swing high right here. And they did make that higher high today with the second, third, and fourth hour. On the fifth hour, as you can see, we did come back down. However, the 398, the prior resistance is now acting as a new support. As you can see on the last hour, we did see that bounce. But the micro term moving average was in that vicinity to be able to support the buyers. So you can see that micro term moving average did make some contribution to the buyers' cause. As you can see right here, several trading sessions ago, uh, some of those lows were caught up with the micro term moving average and the long term moving average right here, right? And scooped it up. And ever since then, this market pretty much went vertical here and today. Definitely that micro term moving average continues to support the bulls here so you can see as we uh get into uh tomorrow uh as you can see at 398 399 is gonna be that micro term support level obviously buyers i want to make sure to protect this level if you do want to see a continuation to the upside if we do see a continuation to the upside we do see that 404 405 swing high level right here mid december swing high that's gonna be the next level resistance the real resistance though the stronger resistance is going to be 4, 10, 4, 11. The September down gap. We talked about this level quite some time. When the buyers finished the job poorly, as you can see what happened here. After the September down gap was not failed, things were extremely, extremely difficult for the buyers. Well, the opposite is true that November up gap was never failed. And that made a way for the buyers kind of base out for about a month or so. And we're here above 400. So as you can see, some of these levels are very, very important as we navigate this market. Also keep in mind that my long-term moving average right here that did act as, uh, it's been a strong pivotal level. As you can see, uh, that's the uh, previous uh, you know, support there. And then you can see all throughout in early uh, 2023, act as a resistance. And then you can see just several days ago, trading sessions ago, that midterm moving average, the long term moving average, right? And like 50% retracement zone. Act, and that level coinciding with the breakout level of the consolidation right here. So we actually have a triple support in that vicinity, right? Because we got that higher high today, yes, that's the higher high. We can now label this as a higher low, right? Low, higher low, higher low. And there's another higher low here. And with that, we got another higher high. Let's check out that oscillator. So as you can see, that oscillator uh, has not fully crossed down yet. We're we're just kind of hanging out here uh, after it hit that over so or I mean overbought level. When this thing was uh, thriving to the upside on the third and fourth hour, this thing did uh, make that uh, you know overbought a signal, extreme overbought signal as it hit that ceiling there. And with that, you can see on that fifth hour downturn came about after that oscillator uh, gave us that overbought signal there so um right now oscillator hasn't fully crossed so going into tomorrow the oscillator is actually neutral at this point so i think what the oscillator is looking for right now is in that 4 9, 398 399 level here this is going to be the very, very important level. if we did if we see this in breaking below that tomorrow right this oscillator is probably going to cross back down 
Keep in mind, 396 is where my short-term moving average is, and 393 is that swing high here, and then you see that support right here. So that 393, 393 is going to be stronger support, but right above that, we do have the short-term moving average at 396. Some of those levels are the levels that you know the sellers want to watch out for if we do see the downturn, and obviously buyers always also want to uh, see if they can you know protect some of those levels as possibly a new support so that oscillator is actually neutral going to tomorrow but because uh we see that oscillator going all the way to the top of his band and because we're up you know the price is above all the moving averages and continues to cultivate higher highs and higher lows we do want to continue to give a benefit of the doubt to the buyers going into tomorrow i'm gonna come back for you we'll reassess the situation asian enjoy your evening of training tomorrow